Thousands of people gathered over the course of two days at Hyderi Mosque to observe Arba'in, one of the most significant events in the Islamic calendar. The commemoration brought together a diverse community of worshippers, all united in remembering the Arba'in of Imam al Hussein, peace be upon him. The event aimed at replicating the Arba'in walk from the holy cities of Najaf and Karbala, where millions of pilgrims descend during this time to Iraq in featured prayers, recitations, and processions inspiring thousands to experience what Arba'in in Iraq is like. This report delves into the highlights of the commemoration capturing the emotions, reflections and unity. Ali Hassan Jaghani with more. We are honoured and blessed to be here today at the Haydari Arba'in Walk at Haydari Islamic Centre. An event like no other. Throughout the year, many people yearn to be with Aba Abdullah. And many of those who aren't able to go to Arba'in feel as though there's nothing at home to make them connect. As a sign of allegiance, as a sign of muhabba to Imam al Hussein, Haydari Islamic Center decided to do something unique. For four years in a row now, they've developed the Haydari Arba'in Walk, where it takes you through the stages of the Mashaya as well as of the Masaib of the women of the Ahlul Bayt, where they had to travel, what they had to go through after the death of Aba Abdullah. And every year it grows. This year, they're expecting 5,000 people. In this event, we truly show that the Shia of the West are trying their best to assure that their youth are connected to Abi Abdullah and Hussein I'm in disbelief. I really can't explain it. I, I, Thursday night, I thought it was over. And um, I actually came out, I got on my knees just up there, and I looked at this place falling apart. And I lost hope. And then I saw the youth of our community running in between mokibs, picking up everything they could salvage. And I thought, they haven't lost hope. They're soldiers. These are the Mujahid of Imam al-Mahdi. May Allah hasten his repairance. And I thought, if they haven't lost hope, Abu Shabazz, why are you losing hope? This is for Imam al-Hussein alayhi salam. In hindsight, it's a blessing. Not because we've had to work harder. Because had it happened Friday night, we couldn't have done it. So Allah has blessed us by doing it on Thursday night. That's how we've looked at it. What is left in us besides his great love? It's an honor. And honestly, it's something that I've done from a very, very young age. And every time I get a chance to serve the Zawar, it's a blessing. It's a blessing for all of us. We don't know who's going to be here, who's not going to be here tomorrow. And for us to serve them should be an honor for all of us. And inshallah, there'll be the youngsters that will learn from us elders, that can pass on this knowledge and keep the community and the spirituality of this alive. The Mashaya experience is being brought to life. The people are walking now from the holy city of Najaf towards Karbala and there are Mawakib serving as passionately as they do in Iraq. You can see people yearning to serve burgers, drinks, with such love and young children, adults, all alike rushing towards these Mawakib in the love of Imam Hussein al-Islam. This is what Haydari Islamic Center has done. It's brought Karbala and the experience of Karbala to the hearts of the children. It's making them realize that if we're doing such an amazing job in London, Imagine how it is in Iraq. Imagine how it is next to the Imam himself. And children then have that fire in their hearts that I want to walk towards my Imam. And they rebuild that legacy for many years, inshallah. We pray that they have the barakah and tawfiq to do so. You know what does it mean to be in Europe and you see kids, you see youth give effort, give time, day and night of hard working only to serve Imam Hussein Salam It's a message not to them, it's a message to us. When I see in their eyes how they are connected to the tragedy of Karbala and how they want to make change to let people know what does it mean to serve Imam Hussein Salam then you will see that their life will change because they know that they can give more than people can expect from them. I think that.
Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states, those who exalt the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, those sacred signs, those symbols, فَأَنَّهَا مِنْ تَقْوَى الْقُلُوبِ It is a sign of the taqwa within the hearts of the believers. Young, mu'mineen, brothers and sisters here in this part of the world are performing what the sixth Imam would say to the companion who said that where we are, we mention narrations, we mention the teachings, we mention the traditions of you, the Ahlul Bayt. Imam said, those gatherings are those that we love. May Allah bless those who revive our teachings, our affairs. And for you yourselves to see the young, the elderly, brothers, sisters from various parts of Europe have come to participate here in Croydon, Haidari Arba'in Walk. This in itself shows that everyone wishes to be part of the Arba'in of Imam al Hussein, part of the Zuwar of Imam al Hussein, part of the walk, whether it's from Najaf to Karbala or various parts of the world, to honor Imam al Hussein, to revive the message of Imam al Hussein, to be with those who are commemorating with the Imam of our time in remembering the message of Imam al Hussein.